morning everybody have you ever just waking up and all of a sudden you do in fact want to change your life <laughs> that's how i woke up yesterday i woke up yesterday and was like you are going to turn your life around you've been super miserable lately we're just gonna have a good week this week that's exactly what we're going to be doing starting this on a tuesday but i did in fact vlog starting yesterday on monday and yeah i just decided to do some things that i know that would make me feel good about the start of my week so that's exactly what we did yesterday i started my day at the coffee shop and just being in an area of downtown that i absolutely love and the day just went up from there <laughs> downtown but i'm actually about to leave because i did so much computer work today i needed to get out of the house or else i was gonna lose my mind it's starting to smell like rain so i was like let me get out of here before it starts raining because i definitely did not bring my umbrella i left it in the car on accident so here we are you already know where i went don't play i also decided to use this opportunity to get some photography in because your girl's officially back doing it full time finally now that I'm done with work for the day, at least I want to take a little break because I've been at it for four hours. I haven't had anything to eat today but a half of a blueberry muffin. We need to go ahead and change that because that's not very responsible of me. That's not very cash money of me. It's looking real DoorDash Chipotle to the crib and meet it there because I'm tired and I have a few errands to run. A um, few errands, the errand in question is grocery shopping. are wet because it was raining when I came at Trader Joe's so not really feeling the best ankle wise but I have a lot of items from Trader Joe's today three bags full to be specific first thing I decided to try something new I picked up the Trader Joe's sparkling pink lemonade because I love pink lemonade best feature out the big apple since FaceTime pink lemonade is literally the best drink and sparkling I love a carbonation not the biggest sparkling drink fan but since it's pink lemonade I shall give it a try I think this is the produce bag yes it's the produce bag things of blackberries spinach asparagus mozzarella and parmesan cheese raw shrimp pasta i got two new snacks these are the this apple walks into a bar cereal bars they're like the um not nutrigrain is it nutrigrain i think it is nutrigrain they're like nutrigrain bars but trader joe's these are made with organic wheat and oats then i also picked up the trader joe's version of a granola bar or um, a quaker granola bar these are the trader joe's peanut butter chewy coated and drizzled granola bars made with peanuts oats rice crisp and peanut butter i love peanut butter granola bars i'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you i think they're better than the chocolate chip ones Got some coconut milk. I know this collection of foods probably looks crazy, but it makes more sense as we go throughout the bag. So let's head to the next one. Beef birria, breaded potato hash browns. I thought Trader Joe's had the little patties, but every time I go to look, they never have them. So I don't know if it's just because it's this one or what, because I always see all on TikTok getting these Trader Joe's potato patties and they're never in the Trader Joe's that I visit. So for the first time ever, I bought bacon from Trader Joe's. This is the Trader Joe's uncured dry rub sliced bacon. It's just regular pork bacon. I like turkey bacon, but not as much as pork bacon. Butter chicken. Y'all know how, y'all know how I get down. I got some chicken tikka masala. So good, also another four to $5. And then I also got some orange chicken bowls. These, I'm not gonna lie, it's one of the first things that I had from Trader Joe's when I started shopping there and they're so good. They become a staple and you just, they're so good. Bone in skin on chicken thighs. I don't know who I think I am. Am I Gordon Ramsay? Am I Chef Boyardee? I don't know, but I'm going to cook bone in and skin on chicken this week. And then finally, I don't know if I just didn't look correctly in Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's sells lactose free milk and nobody told me nothing. And this is so much cheaper than the lactate milk that I um, usually buy. And then there's one less place that I have to stop. Y'all don't tell me anything. Like you literally don't tell me anything and I'm sick and tired. You don't ever tell me anything. Cause I know that you know Trader Joe's sold lactose 
lactose-free milk. And you know I don't drink lactose milk. You know I'm strictly lactose-free. So I don't know why you walking around here not telling me things that I deserve to know. But it's okay. I forgive you. Bananas. Um, I also got two cucumbers, two treats. I decided to get the Trader Joe's sea salt brownie bites and, of course, the Trader Joe's brookies. Pomegranate seeds. Tomatoes. One whole white onion. I got two bell peppers, one green, one red, two heavy whipping creams, grape, tomatoes. Oh, uh, we did excellent today. I'm trying to look for the receipt. He literally handed it to me. It's probably in my pocket. Is this it? I basically decided on what three dinner meals I wanted this week. And then I bought all the ingredients for them in one go. And I also picked up five days of lunch as well. And then a few bonus snacks. And like, that's it. This was no more than $130. And I got something sweet. You can't beat it, I'm sorry. I stopped at Publix as well, but Publix isn't as fun as Trader Joe's, so I didn't film it. I got three Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls. I got two meat lovers and one regular sausage one. I also got some tater patty. Then I got toaster strudels. I've never had a toaster strudel in my life. Have I? Am I lying? I don't think I've ever had a toaster strudel. So I got the apple ones. I hear nothing but good things, but I don't like icing, so it's gonna be very much given dry toaster strudel. As long as I eat something in the morning, that's all that matters. Also forgot to show you that I got eucalyptus from Trader Joe's every time I go to Trader Joe's, they never have it. So I got some, because I wanna hang it in my shower like everybody else ever on the planet. Decided to get some cord and speared pineapple. Sliced green onion, two Jimmy Dean fully cooked sausage patties. <laughs> It was two for $12, only reason I got two. Fresh parsley, and then I also picked up some fresh cilantro, grape juice. And then I also picked up white cran peach because this is the best cran remix up there with cran lemonade. So my big three is cran white peach, cran lemonade, and then cran apple. I think that's my big three. Cran mango and cran grape are runner ups. Surprise, y'all. Aaliyah's actually cooking. Can you believe this? I know. Child, I've, I've been meaning to cook, and I was like, you know what? Let's make something that I don't think I've ever made on my channel. Now, this isn't my recipe. This is actually from the um, chef influencer, Terry Ann. This is their shrimp or chicken or mushroom <laughs> Rasta pasta recipe. So I'll be putting all the information ingredients on the screen, but let me just say, this was such a great way for me to get back into cooking. Y'all know I love pasta. I'm no better than anybody else, but I was getting a little bit like, sassy with the knife as you can see like the past couple times i've been trying to dice something i nearly almost took my finger off so don't do what i did and if you're gonna clock my technique just don't say anything because at the end of the day i'm fine now and i'm still learning how to be a more efficient and functional chef so not too much but anyway I'm seasoning my shrimp here. Um, like I said, this can you can use shrimp, mushroom, or chicken, but something I do differently from the recipe is I use the jerk seasoning that you can literally get from the store in the shrimp because I just feel like it adds so much flavor. It's the mild version, but if you season with a lot, it definitely has a little bit of kick to it. Um, it's really good though, and I will say, as a Caribbean person myself, this jerk like seasoning, marinade, whatever you wanna call it personally, is actually pretty good, but the actual like technique of like, jerking meats is so irritating so i listen if you just want to buy store-bought that's fine we're working smarter not harder and as you can see i'm just cooking my peppers up seasoning it with some more jerk stuff and then putting my coconut milk in there it's so easy like it's almost like the same process as alfredo if you will except you know we put the cheese in later but if you want to compare it to like difficulty level i would compare this to alfredo the one thing that makes it a little bit harder is in fact dicing the peppers so if that's not really your thing i don't blame you because i hate dicing stuff aka i can't dice things because i'm an amateur but it turned out pretty good and here's my boyfriend's reaction of course <laughs> you don't scale up on the 10 where are you going it's top three so yesterday I feel like it was a pretty solid day. That was probably the most solid day I've had in a while. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie because your girl low-key has been going through it. Don't you just love the ups and downs of mental health? Cause I sure don't. I started frothing the milk. I started frothing the milks and the creamer that I put in my coffee. And when I tell you, it just makes the drinking experience so much more fun. It's really good. Why am I holding it like that? It's really given barista. While this is frothing, I had a really like weird dream last night. 
So y'all know I've been traveling a lot, right? In my dream, we were going to Dubai. Yes, such an interesting location. And we were at the airport and we were about to go through security and I was like, oh my gosh, where's my passport? Because everybody was taking theirs out. Come to find out I left it at home. I'm like calling my boyfriend. He can't come look for a towel because he's at work. I'm calling my sister. She can't find it. I, I told him, I was like, how long do we have to board? They were like 20 minutes. Literally a nightmare to somebody who travels off the international trip and you have 20 minutes to get to your gate. You didn't even go to security yet. Be for real. Vacations you can take like with the traveling portion, no. Because so many people get messed up over stuff like that. I am just like, okay, I'm just gonna have my sister come pick me up. So I send my sister location, come pick me up and I'm walking back and they're like, are you, are you sure, you sure? I was like, yeah, I'll just get another flight out there. I'll just go get it, come back, get another flight out there so you guys when you know like i'm still gonna make it i'm on my way back and you have to take like this tram and to get on the tram you have to like stack up these ladders to get on the platform and then everybody kind of like take their turn so i'm waiting in line to go you have to get on these ladders and like kind of hold yourself in this cubby think of like a shoe box turned sideways but the lid isn't on it so it's just like an open box and you have to be able to hold yourself in that box so i jump in miss the box the first time and then somebody comes and helps me like hold myself in there the second time i'm holding myself in there and the things start moving it's giving very much like hannah montana closet except the cleaners times 10 because it was so scary all of a sudden we have to get like zoom through the airport like thing it's like another form of security in order to get onto like the tram so we have we're like sliding through and there's like this tiny little gap that just fits the shoe box and the person sideways so i'm turned around because that's how I'm holding myself and for some reason I like super parkour turn and just hold myself with one arm slide through the tiny gap the gap can be no bigger than my body going through we get to the first stop about to get on the tram here comes this airport employee nurse okay we have to test for COVID she's like we're gonna swab and we have a little bit of the vaccine on the swab so if the vaccine doesn't come back clear you're infected and you can't get on the tram I'm like okay she does this girl with like greasy dirty blonde hair like her gums are brown definitely given tobacco chewer she swabs it and it's like oh everybody look infected and it's one of those things that like dentists fold up it's not like the little things that you get like in your teeth that are like little round things but it's like folded dental tissue and she shows it to me and i'm like okay oh my gosh it's giving marshmallow i did that people have dreams about pregnancy and getting chased and being superheroes now i have nightmares about missing my flight talking to y'all on my spam account testing questions about relatability and all that and a lot of y'all were saying you wish people on social media weren't so like productive all the time so this is my start like forcing myself to start like not showing me being productive all the time i will say today i have been working a lot i've been editing my aruba vlog basically all day but i'm not here to talk about work today was definitely one of my more chill laid back work focused days and it wasn't even intentionally supposed to be like that it just kind of happened Happen. And like I said, I need to get into the habit of showing y'all that I don't do fun stuff all the time. I'm not always the most productive. And quite frankly, how many more times do you want to see me cutting and chopping on Final Cut Pro? Can't be that many because I'm tired of looking at it. It's currently like 4 24, 25. And I have some things that I have to do for work. And I'm on the fence about filming stuff like this because I know you guys don't want to see work all the time because quite frankly, y'all do your own work. Y'all are students, full-time employees. You own businesses. Y'all are booked. You have bookings. I also, going back to like my little spam account mention, I was asking y'all like what made you feel like creators were relatable and then what made them feel unrelatable. And it was just so interesting seeing everybody's answers, but I feel like a common denominator that y'all were saying was like age, stage in life. And like, that's really it. And it's so interesting because it's like, I'm over here thinking people probably find people relatable based on like their hobbies and da da da. But surprisingly, maybe no more than five people said like the person's interest. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I got a lot of answers. Like y'all were answering, y'all were on it. Surprisingly, not a lot of y'all said that 
hobbies and stuff like that or like creators interests made them relatable to you it was mainly like their life stage and their age and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis i just thought that was super interesting and then a lot of the things that you guys said were unrelatable were saying like oh when money becomes too much of a focus for them or they become super materialistic and become out of touch with reality i feel like there's this really big divide on social media right now where it's like super relatable people like teen college creators who like make that type of content and that's what they stuff like they put themselves around and then like there's the other end where people are out of school they're adults they're super luxurious they kind of just you know fill their day up with whatever they feel like it and I feel like I feel like I don't fit in either of those categories and I don't want to say I want to put myself in a category but I feel like it would be a lot easier if I was to like differentiate where I fell on like that side of the fence almost because I don't no, I was just thinking about it and reflecting because I do take what you guys say on Instagram into consideration. I sit and think and ponder because as a creator, it is my job to sit and improve myself because when I improve myself and reinvent myself and how I view myself and how I present myself and all that, it impacts y'all and how y'all view me and do that. It says a lot about what I'm doing and it's like, it's like a supply and demand job. I use that example or my boyfriend used that example like a day or two ago because I told him, I was like, you know what? They keep asking me for the girl talk. But and I told him, I was like, maybe I'll just do like one video a month that like people beg me for. Maybe I'm not like the biggest like fan of doing it. But at the end of the day, these people are demanding a certain type of thing for an extensive amount of time. So maybe I should just suck it up and do it. Like one video a week, not one, one video a month is not gonna kill me, you know? And he was like, well, yeah, it is supply and demand job at the end of the day. And I feel like that summed up this little thing perfectly because at the end of the day, supporters of creators or just artists or anything could always say, oh, do what makes you happy. But without the consistent support of said supporters, it becomes extremely just not working, you know? And when you actually sit down and think about it like that, supply and demand, you know? I supply something, are you, do you care about it? No, so I'm not gonna do it anymore, you know? But if you're demanding that you see a specific thing from me, I'm gonna do it. At the end of the day, creators and artists can do what they wanna do, but I feel like the best way to describe the relationship between creator and supporter is supply and demand. He finally put a label on it and I've never been able to do that. This is literally fantastic. slash makeover vlog for my guest room like not long ago but i mentioned in that video that my tv was coming and it was gonna be mounted <laughs> we have a tv i've been waiting for a tv to come into this living room literally since i moved in this is 75 inch TCL Roku TV. I know you're supposed to do TVs based on like how far we are gonna be watching it, but I don't need no 90 inch TV, okay? I think the 75 inch fits perfectly. It's perfectly like in line with my couch. The living room, furniture wise, I believe is like pretty much done. The last thing that I absolutely wanna buy, but like don't really have to buy, is a new entertainment center. I don't really, I'm not really feeling the white. Um, even though it ties in the kitchen accents, I'm just not really feeling it. So I wanna get like a tan or a brown or just something of the sort to just, you know, tie it in. Then we're gonna start bringing in some colors with the accents. I also need to finish this little mirror corner. This mirror is from Ikea. I talked about it in that video. I'm just gonna tag it like on the screen. This mirror is from Ikea. It's amazing. Say hi, Cashy. He does not like the rain. My dog hates the rain. I don't know about y'all, but he hates the rain. He doesn't like being in it. He doesn't like hearing it. He doesn't like touching it. None of that. this just came on definitely am in like a big time rushy mood 
food. Not gonna lie, I was a One Direction girl. I still am. Occupation is directional, will always be directional, but I'm in a big time rush mood this morning, so that's what I've been bumping. I am deciding to put my work on, not the back burner, but it's not my main priority for the day. And I do have days where like, I just don't do work like at all. I don't film, I don't edit, I do nothing. These are the days that I don't do anything for work. Sit and mope and not slay. Today we're doing a few things for me. I have been meaning to take a trip to the craft store for weeks now because y'all know I'm done with school so I don't have any deadline. You can go ahead. And obligations. They just blew the hell out of that stop sign. They're so real. I want to get back into my arts and crafts era. When I was younger I used to love arts and crafts. Between arts and crafts and reading those are like my two hobbies. So today we're gonna be doing something a little small for myself and we're going to go get some supplies to make some bracelets. I've been meaning to get supplies to make bracelets literally for the longest time now. I was just gonna order it on Amazon, but considering I really never leave the house unless it's like to do errands, it's like, you know what? We're gonna go to an actual craft store and you're gonna get some sort of socialization today because if I don't force myself to socialize, like physically, I promise you it's not gonna happen. granny era i saw somebody on twitter say like once you start accepting granny hobbies you just become a lot happier and i think that's true oh, but this is so cute so i think i think it came from bracelet stuff just got out of michael's had me a great relaxing time i forget how interesting craft stores are the one thing i feel like i should have remembered to buy in there was scrapbooking materials because or i decided that for the trips that we go on we're gonna bring back keepsakes and then make a physical scrapbook instead of digital ones the digital ones are cute and everything but i think the physical ones will just hold more meaning because more like time goes into them but maybe next vlog we have to see little michael's haul i spent a total of 94 dollars I got two of these big blanket yarns that y'all seen me holding because this blue is to die for and I think this would be a really cute accent color in my living room when I do decide to turn it into a blanket. It's the brand Yarnspiration Burnout Blanket. It's just solid colors this time because I wanted to start something easy. You know, I feel like when it comes to knitting and crocheting, the best things you could do is easy stitches and big stitches because you can see what's going on and it's easy to follow. Now, when it comes to more intricate stuff, I have to get into, but I got this to start out. I remember we used to go to like summer camp when I was younger and my mom literally put me in a knitting camp and I had so much fun. I don't know why I ever stopped. I literally would have been in unstoppable if I wasn't knitting and crochet girly like for years, but I fell off. So here we are. Go with those. I got these two piece US 17 size knitting needles. These are big as sh but I got this for bigger projects, which is, like I said, what I want to start out with because I feel like that's the easiest thing. Um, I got this. I taught myself to knit kit, and it comes with the book, complete instructions for 18 projects, knitting needles, size 6 and 8, knit tally stitch holders, cable needles, yarn needles, point protectors, knit gauge, and then 10 carabiner stitch markers, whatever that means. And then these are all the possible projects. They have, like, scarves shawls cup holders like uh what are they called that you put on the counter so the counter doesn't get hot what is that whatever it is they have sweaters stuff for dogs blankets moving on to what i originally went in there for which was bracelet materials i decided to just get regular black and white cording this is nylon cording for um bracelets once again just black and white it came with different widths and thicknesses and length so i just decided to get the multi-pack because i just thought that would be the easiest thing then to go with this i got three different packs of beads so i got this very much renaissance s pack of silver letters very chrome very cute i love stuff like this and then i also just got the regular black and white letters and then there's some like hearts in here the price difference between these and then the ones that were like organized crazy the ones that were organized were like 21 dollars, and these are 10. you're probably paying for the organization but sometimes the chaoticness of trying to sort and find what you need is the best part about this you feel me i also got these pony beads just because i wanted to add some color because it's very much black and white i need to learn how to bring 
bring color into my life so i got these and i think these are really cute i really picked these up because i noticed this green this tan and these blues and then um i think it was the really bright just loud neon yellow and orange and i was like you know what this is a pretty good pretty good thing and there's like 900 pieces in here i think we did a pretty great job today <laughs> good how are you i have three film developments i will say one of them i think is like three months old okay what's the month it's like two three months old for that one okay okay perfect thank you you have a good one always easy trips at Bigs camera if you're ever in charlotte if you need film developed or you need some new camera supplies batteries rentals from camera bodies to lenses to backdrops to lighting to microphones or if you want to purchase some Bigs gotcha 30 bucks to get three film develops and they'll be ready by tomorrow and i you don't pay for expedited sh they just do it i'm telling you they might have them today i don't know but I'm excited to see the photos! I basically came home to eat lunch and fix up some edits for some sponsors, but nobody really cares about that. So I'm gonna fix up my edit for my sponsors, let this rain pass that's kind of trickling. Not really the biggest fan of it, but we're here. And then we're going to head out and run some rain. I remember how I was like, I bet you my pictures will be done and developed today. Why did they send me them an hour ago? They developed them in an hour. I get my first impressions, so I'm gonna go download them right now. Oh my gosh, period. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Um, that's cute. I like that picture. Me again. Wow. delightful delicious quick easy some may even say dainty solo brunch i was like you know what what would set this day off target we're doing what i know best and it's to spend money and it doesn't help that i just got paid either so okay before we go in i need to do something with my teeth i'm about to use one of my little colgate whisks did in fact just eat and have coffee um so basically they're just toothbrushes that are activated by brushing your teeth so let me brush them real quick we were supposed to go yesterday this is the mirror that i was supposed to go yesterday but i never ended up going because it literally never stopped raining so i was like you know what we're just gonna go tomorrow so we're gonna do a little bit of house updates today not a lot um i kind of did all the work that i had to do today already shocker so i could either a fandangle around and waste some time by doing what i want to do or i can get ahead of my work so I don't have to feel rushed. What shall I do? Very easy answer here. <laughs> there is the biggest bug on top of my car. Can y'all see that shit? Oh my God. Get off. Oh my God. 
Oh my God, no. Mm -mm. I was to say, it is super nice out today. It's given 80 degree realness. This is the fall in North Carolina I love. I don't like that summer shenanigans. I think I'm gonna get that black circular mirror just because it's only 70 bucks and it's huge. It just looks really nice. And I it's hard to find mirrors that are like decent prices. So I think I'm gonna get it. I didn't get a cart yet because I wasn't sure if they're gonna have it, but they do have it. So I'm gonna grab it. Let's see if I can handle this mirror. Adorable. I would buy that. How much is that? I'm not gonna buy it now, but. 25 bucks. They have really cute fall stuff out though. Y'all have been asking me to do like fall themed videos, so I'm going to, and I definitely want to decorate the house. Just figuring out when I'm gonna do it. Like, do we want to wait till October? Or are we like, you know, gonna do it early in September? I don't know. I feel like October would be fun, but I feel like you guys wanna see it as soon as possible. I've been wanting to do a little ultimate fall vlog, and I have never been able to because scheduling, filming, that it's a whole production, because I want those videos to be good. I've been meaning to do one, but it just goes wrong every time. Let me know if y'all prefer to see it in September or October, because that does in fact make a difference. We're gonna get these five. Back in the car. <laughs> oh, I don't know where my lens cap went, but I need to find it immediately. Oh, it's in my bag. So we're back in the car. I'm gonna give you a very, very, very tiny haul of what we got from Target because you saw most of it. Um, I was supposed to go in there for just the mirror and then I ended up with mugs. And then I somehow ended up in the hair aisle. I'm gonna discuss that very quickly. Woo, we got a lot. I am a huge fan of this mousse that you're seeing right here. Like this is literally probably the best mousse I've ever used. This line works for my hair very well. So I've been meaning to try some more hair products just because I feel like a lot of y'all not look for my recommendations, but you look for my recommendations when it comes to certain stuff. And like I said earlier this year, I wanna start trying more stuff with hair, makeup, music, all of that, just because I don't wanna say the same things over and over and over, especially if something doesn't work for you. So I've been wanting to just like branch out and like what I use because it also helps that like, I'll always have like my ride and die stuff, but I think when I, like something isn't in stock or something, I think it'll just be more beneficial for me. Like if I just use other, I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope so. With that being said, I picked up two newer products to me um, from the same exact line. This is the Dew Pop Lock Wash and Go Collection. Has lasting hold of definition for all types and texture. This is the five day curl foaming glaze. Basically what this does, you applies to clean wet hair, detangle, diffuse, don't use oil with it. So basically it's a wash and go thing. And y'all know basically all my wash days are technically wash and goes because i be washing and going i don't know what really defines a wash and go but i always just wash my hair and just let it do its thing so i'm very interested in trying this i have like an order of like my big three or at least my favorite two my top favorite is the suave naturals line for my hair i have high porosity hair and it's on the finer side and for everybody who always asks me i have type three hair i'm not going to put a certain letter on it because different patches of my head have different curl types so this part of my hair does not have the same curl type as this part of my hair and i've come to realize that but no matter what my hair has always been high porosity and on the finer side so if you're curious about that and why i like the suave line so much it's so light it's so affordable and their entire line just does what it has to do for my hair my hair is always thirsty and that's its problem because i have high porosity i run through products like there's no tomorrow i have to have stuff that's really moisturizing and stuff and the lighter the product the better which is why i really like this mousse line that i tried i also picked up this defining gel from the same brand i also picked up the ladies first um the b-girl collection this is the Dew Supercharged Honey Moisture Retention Shampoo and the Supercharged Honey Moisture Retention Condish. This can be pre-poo, leave-in, or rinse out. I just got a new shampoo and conditioner set. There's that. And I got this because moisture retention, like I said, my hair be thirsty. And I've been wanting to try this. Plus, the, I feel like this is pretty affordable. You get a good amount of product. There's eight fluid ounces in both of these. Camille Rose is having a super big sale in Target. Like, almost all their stuff was on sale in the store. And I was like, you know what? I've been meaning to try it because, once again, my hair be thirsty. And since it's about to be fall and winter i need to get better 
moisture retention because one thing about my hair it's gonna get dry in the winter okay the protective styles do everything it needs to do but it doesn't mean anything if my hair is dry up two things from camille rose once again this is my first time trying the brand i've always wanted to try it but i just never have so this is my first two products i've ever bought this is the camille rose curlade moisture butter with green tea in joe jaboya Jajboya. Y'all know I've never been able to say that oil. If you know, you know. This is a oil and rich softening hair butter with sweet notes of vanilla and macadamia crafted to deliver intense everyday moisture. Right up my alley. And then I picked up a new deep conditioning mask because I need to do so much better <laughs> with washing my hair consistently and deep conditioning it consistently because I feel like if I was consistent with it, I wouldn't have my hair is dry type of problem, but here we are. Um, This is the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask with cocoa and mango butter in it. And this this is a vitamin pack moisturizing and strengthening treatment infused with blue green algae just apply leave for 20 minutes for extra conditioning you apply heat or put a cap on and then you just rinse it out it's just regular deep conditioning mask i just filmed a hygiene shopping video which i liked a lot in my hygiene shopping video i wanted to try this dazzling mint thera breath look at this bottle is this not the most fun mouthwash you've ever seen i think this is such a fun bottle i don't know if it's gonna be good literally the flavor is dazzling mint i don't know how that's a flavor but they also have a rainforest mint so you know you can't really put too much past their breath like the first LaRouche thing I got was the triple repair moisturizing cream I'm not even gonna go too much into this because if you know you know I literally talk about this like it was in the Bible at this point Jesus literally used it to get ready every day so he wasn't ashy leading his disciples all over Jerusalem you know like he literally loses himself LaRouche will always be famous in this house and I also picked up this LaRouche um hydrating gentle cleanser because surprise surprise I think LaRouche is my actual first love for skincare because I've loved other skincare brands before, but La Rouge, they just have a level of normalcy, but also kind of like, what is it? It feels like a luxury experience when I use it, but it's not a luxury price, and that's why I love them. <laughs> But the line is always long because it's only one lane. Why the car in front of me was driving and they cut over in front of the first people at the light because their light just turned green to get in front of the line and go onto the highway. As the person was start as as they were going. So the car was going, I was back here, the car was going and they literally oh, we're going to the craft store. Remember how it was like yesterday? I was like, oh, I wish um I got my little scrapbooking fan dangle so I can start scrapbooking my travel experiences. So I'm going to Michael's to scout out to see what they have i'm not necessarily going to buy something but i'm also not going to promise that i'm not buying something so if i buy something it's still in the air ideally i wouldn't like to buy anything just because you know i i spent money at target i ate out today like i just you know would rather not we're back at the Kripsky, as you can tell i came home and i didn't really do much i just kind of sat around you know sometimes you just need a good sit around so that's what i did so random but i bought one of those instax polaroid printers basically with this little printer you can print any picture that's within your camera roll and i just thought this would be nice to have because as somebody who is deathly afraid of getting their polaroid footage messed up at the airport this is literally the best and sometimes i just take better photos um on my phone than my polaroid so of course we'll polaroidify everything so i want to try this out one of these days because i don't know if y'all know this but if you've been watching for a while in my old apartment i had a lot of pictures on my refrigerator of like polaroids and stuff and i still have them but i do want to put them up but i'm not gonna be doing that today and i'm gonna explain that to you why so on september 1st it makes six months that I've lived in this house. And that's crazy. I can't believe it's been six months already. It feels like it flew by and it literally feels like just yesterday. I was literally like itching and fiending to like tell y'all that I bought a house because I didn't drop an apartment hunting video, but you guys knew I was moving. So like y'all weren't really, you know, it was up. And that being my first, like the packing and moving into the I'm buying a house all in one video, people died, okay? I have decided that I'm gonna do like a little six month update type of video on the house just because it has been six months and although it sometimes it doesn't feel like i've done a lot for the house i've done a lot <laughs> like for the house like i've really done a lot even though it doesn't feel like it a lot of the time but in the six month video i asked you guys on my spam account to ask me questions that you had about being a homeowner i didn't really specify what type of questions to ask me i just said whatever questions you have ask me and i'll answer them in the video because y'all know i like it when you gain stuff 
from videos. I might not do it every single video, but I do it when I can. Foremost, I think the other big part of the video along with a Q&A is I, in that video, I wanna do a lot of things that I've been holding off on and just kind of ignoring in the house because six months is a long time. That's half of a like average lease because the average lease is about 12 months. I say this because I think in the six month video, I wanna give you guys updates on the house, how things have been going, answering some of your questions while also simultaneously doing things in the house that I've been meaning to do. I have a few things that I've been meaning to do, um, but I just haven't either had time or felt like doing it. It's mainly felt like doing it because it's like little dumb stuff. Like y'all see the shoes downstairs? Nobody's trying to do that. And then of course I want to do small stuff like organize my bathroom. I mean to do that. Um, my closet needs a little revamping. It's organized, but it's still a little messy. I want to deal with my shoes. I want to reorganize my fridge and my pantry because the way it worked before was cool, but it wasn't very functional to the point where I could keep up with it. And so it will just be a very interactive and engaging video and I'm very excited to do it. Like, wow, six months? That's crazy. Hello people and welcome back to cooking with Leah two things in one video I know we're gagging right now guys tonight we're making beef birria tacos these are the pre-made meat ones from Trader Joe's now listen I am not the most effective in the kitchen so when it comes to an easy meal I'm gonna make it the thing I like about these birria tacos is that it comes pre like broth but that's my also big beef with the broth no pun intended because as you can see a lot of the meat like cooks and sucks up the juice so it makes it very hard to have like the juicy outside of the birria tacos but I topped mine off with some mozzarella cheese some onions and nothing too crazy I would say this batch made about six full tacos I had like barely any meat left I had a few pieces but this made about six tacos if I'm not mistaken I remember correctly maybe seven no it was six it definitely made six if you're ever super hungry you need some to impress them Body, make some birria tacos like I said the one thing is that that sauce the broth be cooking mad quick so if you're ever interested in getting this just beware of that but so, I love these so much and welcome to thank you for today's episode of cooking with Leah bye <laughs> I woke up this morning, I had to get my door looked at because the back door was leaking, right? I woke up as soon as the guy left. So he looked at it, why I slept till 2.30? I can't make this up. I cannot make this up, y'all. I slept till 2.30 today, but I'm up, I'm rowdy, I'm wide awake. It's about four or something now. Actually, let me check, it's 4.34 now. It was about time I got up, so I was like, you know what? Let me get up for the day, talk to y'all, because what a rude way to leave a vloggy vlog off. And is it even a week in my life if I just cut it off randomly? No. Because I woke up so late, I'm supposed to be doing stuff such as cleaning the house today. So you guys are just gonna be seeing my kind of like weekly, bi-weekly cleaning routine because I feel like y'all have never seen it. And I don't want y'all thinking I don't clean my house because I do. What I'm about to do now, I'm gonna be cleaning my bathroom today. I hate cleaning my bathroom. Y'all know I have a glass shower as you can see glass shower it's probably easier to maintain than the way i've been maintaining it but i just maintain it in a way that makes my life so hard um when it comes to cleaning it so i'm gonna be cleaning this today y'all can say anything you want about oh you should be using organic products the chemicals are really bad for your skin baby coconut oil is not gonna get this off in a way that's going to be useful for me i do what i can to make sure my bathroom is clean and sparkly when it comes to cleaning especially my bathroom i like to make soft scrub and comment forward slash ajax just because those are the best for me and they break stuff down really well before i actually start cleaning my bathroom i like to spray some sort of like bleach mildew contraption to kind of like break down the stains on the shower because i don't think y'all can see it from here but there's water stains all on the shower because the steam and then of course when you're showering you're flicking water everywhere that just you know happens so I'm gonna go ahead and spray down the shower while we wait for that to soak I'm actually going to empty the shower and give Cashew a bath I've been needing to give Cashew a bath literally for like a week now but he hates bath time and his bath time like routine is just so so intricate because of his breed hair type all of it I'm not gonna go into details because I'm not a vet I'm not a pet groomer I just like to do maintenance in between his haircuts to keep him clean smelling fresh like that but I'm gonna spray down the shower empty it out and then we're gonna go give cash a bath because he needs it he smells like chips <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, even though I literally just said I'm not gonna talk too much about Cashew's routine, I'm gonna talk to you about Cashew's routine because I feel like it's important and I wanna show you guys what I use. So I start off by brushing his hair. As you can see, he looks uncomfortable this entire time. It's not me. His groomer says he looks uncomfortable the entire time every time he sees him, so it's not my fault. I go in with that Itch Soother shampoo and I put some in the water to soak his feet because fun fact, if your dog smells like chips, it's literally their feet. Just clean their feet more often. Trust me, I learned this the hard way. Just take my advice. You can get those little paws cleaners that I use on cashew it's in my Amazon storefront but anyway I lather him up really nice he really does not like bath time but I will say he's gotten a lot better with it he lets me basically do whatever I need to do to get him clean now I will say the bath part isn't even the part that like bothers him to this day still it is in fact the blow dryer and to make this as smooth as possible I detangle his hair again because his hair is so fine it tangles so easily and I also like to wipe his face down with like a warm towel because them eye boogers be atrocious and before anybody clocks it I did spray the tub and I went back and cleaned it after spraying it so not too much I'm not one of those I'm blow drying his hair with a blow dryer he hates it um but he's tolerable of the blow dryer he used to like not let me do it at all so he's gotten a lot better and my boy looks so handsome so make sure you tell him that down below please so we can have some confidence <laughs> Um, so fun fact, I'm at Chick-fil-A right now. Here's the food, I'm just waiting on the drinks for mine. Thank you. I know y'all, I know I've already said it, but I just want to use it. Thank you. Serving phase. Yeah, you got, yeah. It's been a stressful night, so thank you. I was about to say, it looks like it's been a lot with the new line. Uh -huh. We're still working out some kinks if you can't. Especially on a Friday night. And no. Bless y'all's hearts. Thank, <laughs> thank you so you. much. Have you have a good one. Thank good luck. Thank you. The boy with the glasses who I was like, I know his mom fine. It's always boys who look like that who mamas be fine as hell. If a boy has a haircut like that and has glasses with the little thing that connects at the strap in the back, his mama bad as <laughs> Like! I have like a fast pass version of like mobile ordering. Like they have a specific like drive through, like you order via drive through, but then they have a line for specifically mobile orders. And I didn't know that many people did not order mobily because usually when I go to Chick fil A, I sit in the line and wait for everybody else. It's like, you know, whatever. Da, da, da. Um, and then I go. But now that they split up like verbal ordering versus mobile ordering, it's crazy. But then again, I feel like that line is also like that because the new sandwich. You're I just, braver than the Marines. Whatever Chick-fil-A managers make, it's not double enough. it. Double it. Triple because it. have you ever seen Chick-fil-A Chick, a Chick-fil-A line between the hours of 1 p.m. They're and 3 gonna go gray by 27. Anytime besides <laughs> breakfast. I hope they eat them Cheerios because I know their cholesterol high is a mother. Like, oh my god. Anyway, so we got Chick-fil-A for dinner because I was just feeling real. I'm gonna put my Mac on my sandwichy today. Good lord. <laughs> and yeah, so here we are. Cereal seven dollars. My Chick-fil-A meal was pushing eleven. We're in hell, y'all. Cereal seven dollars. Chick-fil-A got fast passes. We are nearing the end. Like Jesus is coming. Oh I need to repent.